Welcome to Mafia Girl Inc. And guys, do remember to like, share, and subscribe. Now, here we go in part two of sets. In the previous video, we look at some other aspect of sets. Now, we're going to look at a few more. And the first one we're looking at is subset. We define a set if we take pieces of that set we can form what is called a subset. Now, earlier on I spoke about universal set. The universal set takes in everything. Now, if you want to take little pockets of that universal set, then we'll have what we call a subset. Now, for example, the set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, a subset of this is 1, 2, 3, another subset could be 3, 4, or even another one is 1. And we could still find some more. But 1, 6 is not. Why? Ah, I get that answer. Because 6 is not a part of the set. Not a part of the parent set, so to speak. All right? A is a subset of B if and only if every element of A is in B. And guys, we write that A and we make a C and put a dash under it, which means A is a subset of B. Now we're going to look at Venn diagram. Venn diagram was invented or created by John Venn. A Venn diagram is an illustration of the relationship between and among sets, groups of objects that share something in common. Usually, Venn diagrams are used to depict sets intersection denoted by an upside down U. And guys, the union here is slightly different from the U used for universal set. The universal set U has a dark shade on one side. Look something close like that. Now U for union is just like that. Alright, so we get a little bit more onto that when we go on to the other slide. This type of diagram is used in scientific and engineering presentation, in ther theoretical math, in computer applications, and in stats. Now, soccer, these are persons who love soccer, Alex, Casey, Drew, and Hunter. Tennis, Casey, Drew, and Jade. So these are two sets. We could say set S for soccer, set T for tennis. Now we can draw a Venn diagram to represent this information. You can now list your friends that play soccer or tennis. This is called a union of sets and has the special symbol U. Soccer union tennis. Alex, Casey, Drew, Hunter, Jade. What have you noticed? Not everyone is in that set. Only your friends that play soccer or tennis or both. So if somebody else plays cricket or basketball, they are not in this set. Or if they don't play any sport at all, they are not in this set. In other words, we combine the elements of two sets. We can show that in a Venn diagram. And you notice, though Casey plays soccer and tennis, we don't name Casey twice, only once. Intersection. Intersection is when you must be in both sets. In our case, that means they play both soccer and tennis, which is Casey and Drew. The special symbol for intersection is an upside-down U. 
So soccer, intersect, tennis. So it would be Casey and Drew. And those are usually on the inside. Those who only play soccer would be on the outside here. Those who only play tennis on the outside here. Those who play both soccer and tennis, which is Casey and Drew, would be on the inside there, the middle. All right? Thanks for watching, guys. And remember, the joy of math is hidden in the answer.